I'm David Wilding, and I'm site manager at Otmore. So the money was used basically to create this fantastic kind of wetland area behind you. I mean, it used to be arable land and we basically moved lots of soil around, dug lots of ponds and ditches and then wetted it up and basically created this amazing kind of haven for wildlife. My name is Peter Barker. I've been involved down here for, I think, 13, 14 years, since the RSPB first purchased the very first piece of land down here. So I've seen all of the changes that have happened. And it's been, a, it's been a fabulous process because you've seen something go from what was really quite a sterile, arid, boring environment from that into what we have around us now, you know, which is this fantastic, rich wetland. Hello, I'm Mary Frankham and I'm a volunteer administrator at the Reserve. I've been working here for six years now. When, what I enjoy about it, of course, is that for an interested bird watcher, is actually seeing the data of the various birds that come through here. And I never imagined that they would get the species that, we, that are seen on this reserve. It, I mean, it's had an instant impact already. I mean, soon, straight away after we finished it, um, we've had lapwings nesting right in front of the hide area. Um, you know, we had red shank feeding chicks in front of it. Um, in the winter time, we've had thousands of widgeon and teal and and, um, and pintail ducks. You know, kind of feeding around around in front of the hide area as well. So it's, it's already had an instant impact. It's been amazing. My name's George Heath. I'm a volunteer down here at the Otmore Nature Reserve. I, I just love being outdoors. I'm sort of, I'm a really sort of practical guy and I'm really keen on being outdoors as much as I can. Um, I, I just, it, it just, whenever I come here, it takes away like all the stress and everything that you get back home and everything. It just sort of, it's like as if you're jumping into another world really when you're coming down here. You know, there's so much kind of um, that, that we can give back to the community by having this place, you know, and the fact it's going to stay as it is and improve and get better as well. You know, to have this resource close to where people live is really important. From my point of view, probably the most exciting return down here is otters. I've seen them, I've seen them on about four occasions, but only really been able to photograph them once. But they are taking advantage of the fact that we have a wet habitat, it's clean water, and it's full of fish and we've got lots of regular sightings of otter. I think the last one was two weeks ago, somebody saw one. So they're here and it's it's fabulous to see the the habitat coming back. So we've got about 90 active volunteers doing a whole variety of roles, doing practical work to um, kind of going out and just chatting to people and even helping out in the office as well. I mean, we just rely on volunteers so much and, and they get so much from it as well. We wouldn't survive without funding from, from Biff Award. It, it just, we would not get by. Um, it's so important to do the work that we want to do, you know, to be able to create kind of areas like this. You know, the funding is crucial, um, you know, and the stuff we've achieved from it is just brilliant. And the comments we've had from the public who have come down here and experienced it, you know, they, they just can't believe what we've managed to do down here and how instantly wildlife's coming in and making use of it as well. So, I mean, the, the funding is just absolutely crucial. Thank you.